couldn't sleep until I talked to you. Well, come on in. Join the booby hatch. Do you ever get the feeling, just an impression, of whether this phantom flyer that keeps bothering you, if it is good or evil? Well, I don't expect that a good thing would leave a dead owl outside our door. And those eyes, it's got to be pure evil. Well, owls are a symbol of death in some Native American tribes. But Australian Aborigines believe that owls are the spirits of women. They hold them sacred. The Kwakutl tribe believes that owls are the souls of people and therefore cannot be harmed because if the owl is killed, then the soul of the person that it carries will also die. So maybe the dead owl was sent as a message. Crystal thought like that when we found it. I know that both of you have either watched the movie or read the book Harry Potter. Now, owls have always been connected with witchcraft. Owls may simply be the messenger of witches. The hoot, a warning of the approach of a witch or a wizard. The Greeks and the Romans believed that witches could turn themselves into owls, and in that form, they could suck the blood of infants. You mean this thing could be trying to warn us about uh, some kind of danger? Wait, are you saying that this demon may be a good thing? Possibly, but it could easily be something very dangerous if you harm it physically. So what should we do? If it is evil, you can force it to leave you alone by spreading salt on your doorstep. Here's some white sage. Burn it in your trailer. But most importantly, evil must be made to face itself. If it is good, your reaction to it will let it know that you got the message and it will leave you be. So how do we make this thing face itself? Why, with a mirror, of course. Well, thank you for trying to help. Yeah, thanks. Good luck, you two. My name is Lisa McConnell and I'm auditioning for the role of Sybil.